All right, you're asking for it, so here it is. Listen to this. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to the not numbered episode of the Drinking Parties Podcast. Yes, this is a special podcast. We got some great shit coming up in the city, and we had to sit down with the individual to let you know what's happening. Um, I'm half of your hosting tandem, Ed Bailey. I'm joined as always with my co-host Dave Brace. You say what up to the people? What's good with you people? We are the Drinking Partners, and if you're listening, hmm, if you're looking for us, <laughs> two or two, if you're looking for <laughs> us, you can find us on EpicastNetwork.com slash Partners Pod. You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Lips, and Google Play. We and Googleable. Spotify. We spot us. Come see us. Man, under Drinking Partners. And you can find us on IG, Twitter, and Facebook under Partners Pod. Uh, 100 and, well, shit. Well, the last episode we recorded was 184. Um, but you know, we, we, we release our, sh- Look, we just try to get people in. We got to get these people out to you. We got to get the information. We got to yeah. be the signal boost out here. Like, and it was like, we couldn't miss this, like scheduling. We had to put it off a little bit, but we got brewing for a cure coming up. And so we had to have our yeah. guest in the building. Yeah. We had to have him here. You know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. Our, order, our, but he had our to be here. first, our first ever collaboration. You know what I mean? Like, Damn. Yeah, our first ever collaboration. Take me back. <laughs> Bridge the gap, man. Take man, me the, back. <laughs> the places you've gone since then. Remember the church oh. always sound like a Negro spiritual? <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> yo, we like, we we were like, yo, we got to get y'all and we got to shout out. Because like, you know, y'all, 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 y'all moved up for, on us a little bit. Yeah, you know I mean, getting that that prime real estate, you know, you gotta do. Uh, Oktoberfest because mm-hmm. Oktoberfest mm-hmm. is coming through. Mm-hmm. So it's a nice, you know what I mean? That's not, it's like, <laughs> I see the I see the gears turning. Yeah, you know? So yeah, yeah. Well, before we get into turning. it, let us uh, allow us to formally introduce our guest. He's not even a guest. He's a friend of the family. He's, he's in there. He's been here before. I don't know the episode number because we We've been drinking already, been drinking. but we got Bill Oates from Three Rivers Underground Brewing in the mm. building. Say what up to the people. What up, people? Oh, yeah. He's been here <laughs> He's before. Comfortable. He's comfortable. I got shit last time because I didn't yeah. give it a proper uh, what up to the people, so I figured I'd come in hot. Oh, we, try to get, we try to get props for the what up to the people. We, we gauge how comfortable you, you can, are. You can listen to two other what up to the peoples and see how it's, <laughs> it's progressed. It's come a long way. <laughs> it's come a long, and that's what Kraft is doing in Pittsburgh. It's progressing. It's progressing. Yo, and Man. Trub is a part of it. Like, yeah. if you just saw the spread, if you were in the studio right now, you'd be like, yo, these motherfuckers came up. Yeah. <laughs> like, y'all don't understand what's happening. We got gifts on the table. Shout out. Can we, hold on, before we go, we got to shout out Trobes because yeah. they, all, like, Trobes, we went nice, out man. there, what, two summers ago? Mm-hmm. Sat with the the owners, the brothers, um, had a great time, great podcast. And ever since then, man, they've just been sending these these love shots, sending these gifts just randomly, periodically. We've just been getting these gifts. And now, um, this time, we got the Hop Knife and the Troganator cans in the building. So, shout out to Trogues. Uh, they remember day this time, so that's what's yeah. <laughs> true. Yeah, no, nah, uh, but we appreciate everything. We appreciate y'all, man. We appreciate y'all keeping up with us. I would imagine somebody in the organization is keeping up with us, listening to us. So we appreciate that, man. Like they gave us our first shot to go out and like be on some major shit, and like that that led up to the Fresh Fest, like that just being yeah. able to operate on major levels. So shout out to Trogues, shout out to this that, pop that, knife that we on. That vision, that story, man, and I've you know I've said it you know, before or whatever, that vision that like of them starting that like brewery and mm-hmm. the, the town that sprouted around there, like listening to that story was inspiring. Like that whole story of bringing from like, you know what I mean? Oh, from the yeah. ground yeah. up, yeah. like, you know, mm-hmm. telling the people sprouted. in your community mm-hmm. and whatnot, like, and it, it, it felt like attainable. And right. I mean, yeah. like it was like the blueprint. It was <laughs> right. like, you know, so it's real. Yeah. Like this, this craft thing can be real. It can, yeah. it can mm-hmm. create an economy around it. Like exactly. imagine being like at the forefront yeah. of that. So, That's and true. I know with three rivers underground brewing, you're yeah. dealing with a lot of people who kind of want to get in that. A lot yeah, of, yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. brewers mm-hmm. that we've talked to have mm-hmm. come through, sure, you know, yeah, various yeah. organizations mm-hmm. through, through trash, through yeah. trub, mm-hmm. like through mm-hmm. these organizations to like start their own breweries. You know I mean, Oh, certainly. I, and I think that that story you guys talk about with Trogues, I think it transcends, you know, beyond brewing. I mean, that's the story of everybody that started a business. Is, you know, they had inspiration to do it. They love what they were doing. And ideally, that's, you know, they ended up where they were, they wanted to go to. Like Trogues is massive, but, you know, we have guys in our club that just started breweries last year and they're blowing up locally, making great beer. So 
that's the cool thing about it. You get to see the whole process from, you know, infancy to Trust whatever ends up being. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's, what's going on? I mean, with brewing up a cure, like how are you feeling? You excited? You're nervous? Like you guys moved it up a little bit this we year. We did. We did. We wanted to kind of, we were at the same date range, same place for probably about eight years. Um, mm-hmm. Just kind of wanted to change it up, move it up a little bit in the season, try to strategically put ourselves out of the range of certain, certain other beer fests. Right. And then we're also moving to a different location this year. We're moving from the PPG Winter Garden. This year, it'll be at um, the August Wilson Center downtown. So. Ooh, got yeah. the August Wilson Center involved. Yeah. Y'all it's got a, the nice that I like the August Wilson Center. I like seeing events happening it's at the August Wilson It's a gorgeous spot. Um, I mean, for what we're trying to do, it works a lot better because we can have a band play. We can have right. b- better acoustics. Um, PPG Winter Garden is a beautiful location, but for a beer fest, it didn't work exactly the way we wanted it to. And we're trying to go a little more intimate with the fest, not not as big. We're trying to make it a little, you know, in that three to 400 person right. capacity, but a little more, you know. And the thing about the August Wilson Center, too, is like, if you don't have tickets and you walk by and you see something happening, yeah. you feel yeah. like, like, I got to do this yeah. next year. Like, yeah. they look like they having mm-hmm. mad mm-hmm. fun. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you could even get walk up. I mean, cause mm-hmm. we were down mm-hmm. there, down at Arcade Comedy, and sure. we're all yeah. like... I be at our shows looking mm-hmm. over like, what is it? Oh yeah, yeah, we had the one like, show where they had, they had the sneaker ball the sneaker across the ball street, and I'm just there. looking like, man, <laughs> <laughs> I got mad sneakers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should be in there. <laughs> Somebody should have sent me an email. <laughs> yeah, like you know what I mean. So no, that's a it's it's a dope. Like I love the design. Yeah. Like I mean the windows, mm-hmm. and like I said, I think it's a a place that you can get walk up like sure, traffic yeah. to because there are folks that because right. mm-hmm. we get walk up traffic coming mm-hmm. up to mm-hmm. uh to arcade and whatnot yeah. um because it is a very walkable city. Yeah. And, so that's, um, um, we're hoping for some of that. You know, downtown walking traffic. It's you know a three hour drinking event. You can pop in for a little bit if you wanted to experience most of it. Um, I mean you can you know in in four hours it's probably hard to experience all the beers there unless you're. You know, really gung ho about it. Yeah, and that's <laughs> yeah. I feel like yeah. fest, like to get all the beers. Yeah. You yeah. going hard? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you going hard? And like the brewers aren't like they're not kind, right? Because they'll just pour like a whole four ounce yeah, yeah. four. And mathematically speaking, like yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you're not gonna get through yeah. all the four ounce fours unless you're a maniac. Yeah, right? I, t- I tend to find a good one in the first hour and just hover back. And you yeah. just yeah. you just there. Yeah, they got it. you for the night. They won you. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I end up drinking a lot of my own beer there because I don't, I got. <laughs> Leaves I'm like, oh, whatever. Okay. Well, all right. You got a different experience. Like even with Fresh <laughs> yeah. Fest, like early in Fresh yeah. Fest, mm-hmm. I didn't taste anything, and mm-hmm. then like there was a half hour window where mm-hmm. I tasted like thirty seven things. And I was like, this, <laughs> this isn't healthy. But that was that was my my first hour at Fresh Fest. We were just making the blitz of everyone we could. You know, we had forty five minutes. Yeah, that's what we like. We yeah. tried to set it up so that the mm-hmm. brewers could kind of yeah. have some mm-hmm. time to mm-hmm. like, yeah, you know I mean, mingle before folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like went heavy. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, there's only so many like things you can get into try you try your you try your hardest <laughs> so i'm interested with with uh with your festival like how do you from year to year how do you assess what happened the pre- previous year what you need to improve like what what sort of things do you look at like how will brewing up procure be different this year from 2017 yeah what did you learn i think with with our event in particular it's by the nature of how we we have it structured it's going to be different every year no matter what because it's homebrew beer it's different guys showing up every year. Mm-hmm. Um, so just on that, you're not really going to get the same beers every year. But the things we we try to look at is, you know, how do tickets sell? How fast do they sell? Um, do the people respond well on the surveys after the event? Like, um, And then more things, the things we wanted to bring to the event, some, you know, music and things of that mm-hmm. nature. Um, we wanted to try to, you know, find a place that was more conducive to that. But um, yeah, I think, I think we're going to do well with the August Wilson Center. And I mean, I, I really think people are going to enjoy it. Um, yeah, just change the pace. We're hoping for. So um, you brought us beer. I brought beer. Yeah. Oh, this is what you've been waiting on. <laughs> yeah. So, so here's you was like, the this details is stop so, asking I questions. So here's yeah. the, here's the thing, right? Uh, Bill is a brewer. <laughs> and if you haven't heard uh, these episodes before um, and I've been telling everybody uh, that will listen to me that like <laughs> you brought us four beers that could be on tap anywhere in the city. Like last, this la- the yeah, last yeah. podcast, man. Like mm-hmm. I, I, so I'm a fan. Right. So, and you're back. I appreciate it. Yeah. And I have not had any of, so can I have some of your beer? You please? can. Yeah. We'll start. Um, <laughs> Strangely, I don't know if the tone needs to be paused, but I'm going to pause that even though nothing was flagrant. <laughs> 
<laughs> but Day, I just want to point out, Day was really waiting for me to stop asking you questions. <laughs> yeah, like <it> was, <laughs> he was sitting there like, all right, all right, shut up. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the first one I got on queued up here is a uh, it's a Rye Munich Dunkel. So it's a dark German. Wait, it's a Rye Munich Dunkel. A dark German beer with some rye malt added to the the grist. So t- typically Munich Dunkels are just a malt explosion. You get a lot of chocolate, but just deeply malty. Um, the rye in this one, I think kind of cuts a little bit of the body and gives it some crispness, um, a little spiciness in there, but I don't want to. So I'm not familiar with Munich Dunkels. Like, can you point out a popular um, one that maybe I might've had? Cause I, I'm I mean, not the, the biggest one, the I mean, Hofbrau Dunkel, um, any like the, the German breweries, the dark beers, like Penn Dark, um, okay. those are all what you consider be Munich Dunkels. Have you had a Dunkel before day? Uh, I don't know. Episode gotta, two of two happened so hard on that side of the table. I gotta taste this to find out if I have. I, I'm pretty sure I have, but I don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm not knowledgeable. Yeah. And this is, I mean, they're really just, you know, everyday drinking beers. Um, But, you know, if you don't want something light and crisp, it's going to be more malty. And, oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm, so. I like that after. That after. It, and that after simmers for is a minute. It Belgian? No, yeah, it's a lager, yeah, German lager, yeah. That German. aftertaste mm. simmered for a little bit, and then all of a sudden wow. exposes. So I think like, the, I didn't. I think the rye for me in this one comes across as almost like black pepper a little bit. Um, I like this. So yeah, I mean, it's Munich Dunk. It's meant to just be your everyday drinking beer, you know. Yeah, as opposed to like the Hellas, that's the German light beer, German Dunk. This is dark. what this is what John Snow drank. In Game of Thrones. This is good. Mm. <laughs> this comes out of a lager cup. I wish I had my elephant tusk. Can we can we can we do a can we do like a I just need a PowerPoint of just me with my elephant tusk. I love that cup. And then it just died on me. Uh, it's so here, it, but it leaks. My elephant that, tusk. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, did you fix it? <laughs> Oh man, we gotta get you. We gotta get you. We gotta get it on Amazon.com. This tusk. is an elephant tuskable beer, I, though. I, I I was pissed at that tusk because there's a whole story. Because you didn't have one. I didn't have one. Well, a, uh, we so all right. So reason. you hear it here. You heard it here first on Drinking Brothers. I'll get Day and I very uh, customizable or something tusk. very elitist. Back. We'll get our tusks. We need, we need we'll tusks. tusk it up. Yeah. But I don't know if you, like, in this elephant tusk, you can't just drink, like, a, a Kolsch. Like, it's got to be something. You can drink a Kolsch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, man. Because that's what, I mean, if you're going, if you're going hard, if you're actually mm-hmm. getting down mm-hmm. in the dirty, you know I mean? Like, if you're getting work done, sometimes that calls for a Kolsch. If there's some working ass motherfuckers. But if you're working, you're not Vikings. drinking out of a, you know, yeah, okay, yeah, back yeah, in Vikings the day. Or right. some working ass motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't know. I just think of a more like a dunkle. Hey, a dunkle Dunkel out of the tusk. Beer, yeah. It's a different. <laughs> a dunkle out of the tusk. Yeah. 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 You put it's a, a dunkle in here. You're conquering different shit, but you're oh, still yeah. conquering. You know what I mean? Like, damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. I was, this I was, took us back a couple years. I know, man. This motherfucker Buzzy has been hiding this a couple shit. years. I didn't even know that still existed, man. I didn't know. But I thought I threw it out. This. Let me tell you something. There's a paper towel in here. This paper towel is hard as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tried to. Like, look at the Feel that paper towel. Like, <laughs> Buzzy put a paper towel in there once and just never took it out. That's not a paper towel anymore. That's a fossil. Just never took the paper towel out of the It's part of the tusk now. Yeah, it's, it will crumble <laughs> if you move it. George yeah, Washington yeah. used that to uh, <laughs> clean just, out that tusk. I just tusk. love that I made a beer that you, made you think of the tusks. So Thank you. Thank really you for making wow. this beer. Yeah. Thank you. This might have wow. been the original wow. in lieu of rates wow. and reviews because somebody gave me this tusk. <laughs> this is the third <laughs> year you've been on this podcast. It is, yeah. Jesus Christ. And wow. you keep going up. Like it's, it's, it's not like, oh, you on here just to be on here. Like shit's getting better. Goal, this is man. this is dope. I've this, never you've exposed me now to a new style. I've never Dunkle. had this style. Man, you get, yeah, it's like two hundred like, episodes, and I got you a new, a new style. And now I'm looking for dunkles. Now I'm gonna be a giant eagle. Like y'all got a dunkle? I want to ask somebody. I got my, like, I got my tusk. You, you have any well, dunkles here? I don't, I don't want to say I've never had a dunkle. I just don't remember having a dunkle because typically when I have dunkles, I may be drinking, and I can't really <laughs> trust my memory when I'm drinking. Gotcha. It's not, it's not one of those ones. It's not. It's not really anything, you know, 
<laughs> stand, it doesn't stand out on, on, that a, on shit a tap is list. Okay. Delicious, yeah. man. Like no, it's um no, it's really I good. It's, well like, made. I, I like a. Good. I like I like the flavor of it though. Uh, for me, is like a fall like flavor yeah. though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's it's a nice September. It's beer. a lot like um, think like it, a brown it, ale, but it just has that cleaner lager right. finish. To yeah. It. yeah, and I guess on a rainy, cold day in Pittsburgh, having it, it's it's, it's appropriate. It's yeah. actually perfect for today. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it mm-hmm. feels like today. This is a good beer for See? today. Yeah, did so, you bring it in like for today, or did you have it planned out? That's <laughs> the only thing I've got on tap. <laughs> <laughs> But thank God it worked out. <laughs> I don't think it'll ever not work out with yeah, craft. Yeah. Like if you got a good beer, we'll make it appropriate yeah. for today. Like it might be a, not be appropriate for the moment that I'm drinking it, but yeah. earlier today I was dunkleable. <laughs> like, it was cold this morning a little bit. I woke up cold. I slept without the covers on, and I needed a dunkle right then. I had it. Now we're good. So now it's really good it's though. Right. So how? So now at this point, so. With our podcast, you've been on three years. Mm-hmm. Uh, you said you've been doing Brewing Up a Cure for eight years. Like, how do you challenge yourself? Like, at this point, you have the respect of everyone. I mean, from, everybody know, like, Bill's been yeah. doing his damn thing. So how do you challenge yourself? How do you keep me, the quality going? Now it's just, I mean, with brewing especially, I, I try to just get the process better. Um, I mean, this is a log, and I've been doing a lot of loggers lately. Um, it's just a more, com- like, not complex, but more time-consuming b- brewing process. Um, you got to have the beer, you know, store it cold. The fermentations take longer. I think it's tougher to nail a really clean beer with a lager because the imperfections kind of come out more than they do in like an IP or something like that. There's less, less flavors to hide the okay. imperfections. So, uh, um, yeah. you gotta, you gotta be good at this. You try. Yeah. I mean, that's, 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 that, is that what he was trying to say? Yeah, like, yeah. Is that where he was going with it? But trying to be humble. I really like, wasn't trying to go for that. Things. Only for the privileged. <laughs> But you got it. I really wasn't going. Anybody that. else have a, a older sister who used to write like little notes for herself, but she would like randomly put numbers in? Like, did you ever? My sister used to write too good to be and equal forgotten. Like her and her friends would write that to themselves. Yeah. Did you? Anybody like? Yeah. You, please comment well, if you had yeah. that. My sister used to write that. So he well, only notes. for the privilege. Like that's what. It's basically what he just said to us. Oh, but it's man. all right. No, nah, it's good. Like, cause mm-hmm. I, I, I am interested. Like, so you have, you know, Three Rivers Underground Brewing. Mm-hmm. Um, and you have all, you know, with how the craft scene is growing, you don't know what somebody else is going to come to the table with. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like trying to level up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So how do you mm-hmm. stay a level ahead? You know what I mean? Cause you are one of the most respected brewers in the city, as I understand, like I, at least for <laughs> me and for day, we fucks with what you do. You know what I mean, <laughs> we drink a lot of shit. So like, how do you, um, I mean, it's, it's just interesting. So where do the challenges come from? Do you see styles that you might be out and see a style and be like, I want to do that or you just research? A, how, how does I this think come a lot about? of times it does come from what you, you drink, what you see out of breweries. You know, a lot of times the, the breweries are the ones like small local ones more, more so are the ones that are doing the styles that are going to blow up, you know, eventually. Um, so you got a I little mean, bit more room to play at that level. Yeah. Cause I think you can, you, you can sell what you make, you know, whereas, you know, Sierra Nevada makes a beer. They got to, and it's it's, it's, it's a dud. Right. You know, they they got it, yeah, yeah. 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 or it could be a failure. At so, the end yeah, of the yeah, day, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. don't sell it, you yeah. could drink it. Yeah, you're not gonna. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like yeah. you ain't making enough that you yeah. can't consume. Yeah. 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 And that's kind of what it comes down to. But um, I I think I really think a lot of those new styles start with home brewers. I mean, in, even if it's brewers at brew at the breweries, it's they make it at home. Like, oh, this is great, and you know they, they ramp it up, serve it to their brew pub, and then if it's Hits at that level, you go to the next level. You start distributing it. Um, I mean, I see that with places. You know, Hitchhiker d- does that, um, and they serve stuff at the pub. If it's good, they can it, send it out. Um, I was just drinking some Hitchhiker Pilsner this weekend. It was fantastic. So, shout yeah, out to him. Yeah. Generally, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I'm a fan. Yeah, <laughs> Andy, Andy and his shit beers, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're terrible. <laughs> they're terrible. <laughs> so, has craft gotten to the point where? Um, these breweries or breweries are now poaching the the home brewers, but they're just like, all right, you the most talented. I'm gonna bring you on board. Like yeah. you gonna stop what you're doing over here. You gotta come on to our team. And they like competing for this home brewer. Like you get multiple. Yeah, job like are, are there like are there they're like rising stars? <laughs> the, because here's the thing, mm. it is like mm. it it's an industry and mm. it's very mm-hmm. promiscuous. It's yeah. very promiscuous. Oh, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. is. Mm-hmm. Fucking everybody. Yeah, I mean, like, so you know, okay. people are here and there, and, and it's like, cool yeah. now because no one gets offended by it. But yeah, yeah. nobody's offended by it. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, I, I feel like at some point, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. In, in the later, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. post apocalyptic times, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now, 
<laughs> it's cool. Mm. Um, but like, are there like some rising stars that you may like like see? No, there's there's definitely guys I know of that homebrew that I'm surprised they they don't. I mean, most of the guys that, that brew that got you know picked up by brewers to brew there are guys that I was like, yeah, they they should have they should ended up there because they were really right. top of the game. So it's not like you know any bottom feeders are getting up to the top level. Like guys that are brewing good beer generally tend to be recognized and get mm. to that level. But you know, it's a it's a it's a tough field in a sense because I mean it's a cool job, but I mean there's a lot of times there's, there's not a lot of as much money in it as there are in some other jobs, but yeah, no, nah, it's, it's like really, infinite more fun in it. But yeah, it was a, so let's be clear: yeah. it's a it's a restaurant, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's right. a food, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And anybody that like thinks that they're about to just like blow up and become a millionaire yeah. no, off no. of a <laughs> restaurant, yeah. doesn't know what a restaurant. Well, you're lying to you, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you gotta be realistic. Yeah. You're lying to you, <laughs> so mm-hmm. yeah, no, that's not what that is. Mm-hmm. Like you know, it's a passion, oh, and mm-hmm. it's work that like yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. and 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 that if you're if you have that passion and you have the work ethic mm-hmm. and you're willing to mm-hmm. put that work in it, it doesn't feel like the like it's all it feels mm-hmm. like work, but it doesn't mm-hmm. feel like work. Like I'll we're tell. working right now, but we're it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't mind being here. Yeah, I gotta yeah, make yeah. I gotta make sure that I ask you a good question. Yeah. That's, <laughs> so it's pretty not much. <laughs> I didn't sleep last night. That's the extent <laughs> of my responsibility at this point. Make sure that he has a good question in front of him, and then while he's answering, drink. Like that's not a bad job to have. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, but it, it 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 is work though, you know. And like you said, like nobody's just like getting in and and doing it. But like it's it's nice that people have that opportunity. I mean, oh yeah. yeah um, so yeah. what are some mm-hmm. of the? I guess uh, what? Are, well, first, what else did you bring? <laughs> And I was then, waiting for that question. Yeah, he's to come he's, up. he's yeah. focused. He's not. He's not playing no games. Yeah, that's so, a good. No, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> so the next one I got here is um, this is a peach infused IPA. Um, a peach. Yeah, it was a uh, infused. I don't want to say infused. It's it's aged on peaches and dry hopped with some peach <laughs> peachier hops. So. Wait. Um, well, we just had peach wait. king. Oh, we what? Oh. No way. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was aged on peaches <laughs> for like a week, yeah, <laughs> and then dry hopped at the same time, yeah, yeah, with some peachy, peachy er hops. Like it, hops. this one features um Centennial, Amarillo, and Galaxy. Because not everybody is just like aging beers on peaches. That's try, I, I try to pick ones that I, that I don't see people doing. Like I did them. Um, if you guys remember last year, I did that mango. Right. Infused IPA. I, and then this is kind of my thing where, you know, you see, I don't know. I, I, I try not to copy things that other guys, mm. but I might, might take influence from it. And, you know, hey, they did, I don't know, some other fruit. I'll do peaches or whatever it ends up being. But I think, I think the peaches work kind of nice with this, this be, base beer. It's a very traditional American IPA recipe. Just. But peached up. Mm-hmm. Peached up IPA. So what do you call this? First and foremost, what was the Dunkel? <laughs> I really don't name my viewers too much. You don't uh, name? Uh, I only name them for bringing up a current. I haven't even got a chance to name any of these ones yet. So I, I do that at the very last minute. Like but Ed has. <laughs> it sounds like Ed just been contracted. I so, know. Like, what is this? What? Yeah, I mean, we can call it <laughs> Slam Dunkel, uh, Tim <laughs> Dunkel. Slam Dunkel. Okay. Okay. Oh, you see how that. <laughs> see, that's what you call a layup. <laughs> that's a professional. <laughs> right there, yeah. I, it, it just happened. You know? That's what you call a layup. <laughs> well, you like the shit you and drink. He, he came through um, with the slam dunkle. Okay. There you go. Right. You, you got two well, the more. first one got to be slam dunkle. <laughs> yeah. And then everything else, you can, you know what I mean? You, you can get you Tim know Dunkle you, I just, or whatever. I just, I just want to, like, we are a uh, banner a couple of years ago, probably around the first time you brewed, mm-hmm. when you brewed Bridge the Gap, was that one where, like, D Wade threw up the, uh, the layup, like the. Uh, oh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> y'all didn't see the what alley-oop. I did, but everyone knows the iconic picture of <laughs> yeah, D Wade just looking like this. What like... we do, we call that the "this what we do" picture because that's what D Wade looked like. He's like, "This what we do." Yeah, it's like there's <laughs> nothing the, you can do the about the wings. It. Yeah, V, like yo, so no, nah, that's yeah the the slam dunkle. So what's this then? This sound this, this tastes like simply peach. Uh, simply the peach. The simply uh, lemonade. The peach Jeez, joint okay. though. This this tastes like that. So I'm a ooh yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and this is the opposite of the weather today. <laughs> this is not really a 
cold and 60 degrees. I would, yeah, if it was, it was, if it was last week. Yeah, yeah. This is perfect. 95. This is good as shit. I'll drink it in any weather, but. Last Listen, week, man. shit, sit on the porch. This is going. This is going to be Wednesday. Y'all, y'all don't have any. <laughs> y'all don't have any hope. Shit, it might be. Uh, at this the shit festival. is good. <laughs> yeah, this shit is like juice. <laughs> yeah, God, thank you. You got the juice. I got it. I, I mean, you could name it that. I don't know <laughs> if you want to put peach in the name. We could think of something different. But how long I, does how long does this make the take the brute? Like the whole um, like, days, like I'm gonna do this. <laughs> this one's super young. I mean, this is um, this is probably exactly so two weeks room. from when I made it. Yeah. So, so this yeah. has room to get better. Um, I mean, IPAs generally you want them as fresh as fresh possible. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, this I, I I I started carbonating this one on Thursday and just pulled it off this afternoon. So I mean, it's about as fresh as you're gonna get. This is really really fucking good. Yeah. Um. So what are some of the uh, things that you, I guess, what is your biggest gripe with the industry right now? What do you- um, I mean, I hate to call it a gripe, but just the fact that you see certain styles just dominating tap lists, like hazy IPAs. It's, you go to certain places. I don't want to, like, not breweries per se, but I mean, like bars in general, mm-hmm. it's 80% IPAs, 50% of those are hazy IPAs. And I like them. But I'd appreciate, you know, some other styles some variety, breaking variety. breaking its way. Some variety. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I miss I, I miss Belgian styles being on tap because you don't see them anymore because everyone's drinking IPAs and there were some good Belgians out Man. there. Man, yeah. somebody yeah. Uh, just was saying like there's a lot of Lambics out like on shelves around there. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's crazy. Yeah. They probably I mean, don't sell. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but like I, I, I'm, I, I can't say anything because I'm what's... not buying the Lambics. I don't. I don't I see have them to on pay tap. More attention. I, yeah, I don't like when I go out. Yeah. Like I don't get them. I mean, typically because I mean, I guess I'm not like like I would drink them, but nobody, everybody. It's wants. a hard thing to buy. You know what I mean? Like if you go to, it's hard thing to buy outside of just buying one lambic, like buying a glass to buy something to. You have to have a stock of beer. So I don't know if the average craft consumer has a stock of beer. I would get like a lambic can't be the only thing in your fridge. <laughs> yeah, like I'll, 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 get, I'll get a I'll get a lambic like if like mm. I'm at a place and it's in the cooler or whatever mm, your beer mm, garden mm, or whatever mm, like and have mm, it at the like a bar like establishment mm, there. Yeah, but like I'm probably not going to buy a six pack right to take it it's home. Yeah, take it home because yeah. yeah, I, mean, I don't like, know if the average and what do you think? Does the average person have a, a a fridge of variety? I don't know the average person. I think the most like brewers, beer drinkers that are serious about it to have like a stockpile of stuff that they okay. they collect. I mean, I have bottles that I found that I because you know, Lambic just seems like it has to go within a collection. Well, yeah, I mean, it's one I of those ones. Open yeah, a you're not gonna, only yeah, you're not Lambic. gonna crush a six <laughs> yeah, a sixty I mean, I think, of, of yeah, lambs but, like yeah, I mean, I, like I, I think Lambic works well if you break out the bottle and you say yeah. Like this situation, three guys sitting around. Exactly, you can split yeah. A bottle. But you have to have some place like store that, and then you got to yeah, want to yeah. store it, and then like have that whole thing. Our like, resident uh, GDI is like, nope, nah. He's just like, <laughs> nah, we know he got a variety because he got a cooler in front of yeah, him. First of all, that's, the cooler that he has is not a cooler that a regular person just has. That's a <laughs> that's a tailgate, or I'm bringing you some shit cooler. Yeah, like, this is one of two functions with that cooler. Yeah, that's a mission cooler. <laughs> there you go. I like that. It's a mission cool. <laughs> so, what's the name for this peach? It's up to you, Ed. I mean, I, I, the, my original thought was you got the juice. Um, <laughs> I got a couple. So, if you want something with peach in there, uh, I gotta, I gotta think of something. If you want peach in, you got the juice. You got the <laughs> juice. Um, that would sell. I actually like you got the juice just because <laughs> this, this is like this. Mm. First of all, listeners. All just this shit is good as fuck, and so I there it's very rare that I personally will <laughs> harpen back to how good something is. This shit is good as fuck because it really tastes like simply peach, like, and that's one of my favorite juices. And it's beer. What, I, what do you think the ABV on this is? Is it um, like seven ish? Yeah. What? <laughs> Don't lie to me. Don't fucking lie to me. I was gonna go four seven. Nah, 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 nah. I was gonna say <laughs> maybe a six. You gonna say and six? Like when I say six, I mean like yeah. a five, like well, eight, 4. nine, seven, it's, seven, it's, high, it's high sixes, seven. It's in that ballpark. Yeah. Me. So I mean, it's beer, beer. It's real beer. Yeah. It's mm. um. I it's healthy. Wait it's till a, it gets yeah. hot outside again mm. next week, and I'm listen. Mm. You don't have extra this shit. <laughs> I'll buy it off you right now. This is a graduation beer. Like, yeah, you know I mean, like you don't. <laughs> 
Don't just don't just jump in on a seven like this. Like you will get you lost. Can. You can't jump yeah. your ass in. <laughs> jump in. That's, a, that's how you acclimate yourself to the water. All right, man. Yeah. All right, man. Just saying that's seven. You'll never know it's seven. You, yeah. I don't, how would man, you know? Seven, because you don't know. You you'll drink it. You'll think it's a Budweiser. <laughs> that motherfucker. That's a, that's a goal with any beer. I think no matter how strong it is, it should drink. Drink like well. it's like it's yes. a four percent beer. Yeah. Is that is that is that really what it should? That's, yeah. that's my goal. You know. Yeah. I, I don't want anything to be just sit too heavy too on boozy. your palate. Yeah. Too boozy. You don't yeah. Too boozy. Yeah, I mean. There's, I'd rather drink, you know, booze. If I was gonna drink booze. If I want a beer, I want it to be mm. balanced. You know, you get you get notes of that booze sometimes, but you know, the goal more, for me has always like been a, to make it's a food. No matter how strong it is, to make it drinkable. You yeah, know, you can have a glass. Just, of it, yeah. yeah, I don't. This is an afterthought. The alcohol is an afterthought. Yeah, it takes your places. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. It's that it's, could be the name of it. That's takes a, you places. I like a, that. Takes you places as a name. It's a. It's the AA. <laughs> That's it. I like the name takes you places. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna reserve that for, you for what you got. Not the necessarily for the places? peaches, though. Oh, no. Like if we got a higher ABV zone yeah. that is very drinkable, because I like that. I like a very drinkable mm-hmm. but strong. Yeah. You know I mean, because mm-hmm. we drink all the time on this podcast, mm-hmm. so a seven is a session for us. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. a seven is kind of yeah. No, I, that's kind of where we want it to be at mm-hmm. the least. That, that's what uh, uh, Jeff Jeff Bloom he was like. <laughs> he was like, yeah, it's a session. And I was like, yeah, well, uh, you know, like, I was like, what is it? He's like, yeah, it's like a six something. Like, it's not a session. He's like, oh, that's a brewer session. That's, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a beer drinking <laughs> brewer session. That's a brewer session. Yeah, yeah, session yeah. Like, like I, I feel like I'm very skewed on the ABV mm-hmm. scale. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it don't, I don't think of it as strong right. till like, you tell me it's a ten. <laughs> if you tell me ten, I'm like, oh, that's strong. Oh, yeah. If yeah, you tell me it's an eight, if you tell me it's eight, it's like, all right, be careful. But like, yeah. you tell me, I'm like, it's strong. But like, to the average person, like, an eight might be strong. Yeah, no, if you eight think will, about, if you come in, that's what I'm saying. If like, because it drinks, because the flavor of it, like, yeah, I mean, with the peach and like, mm. and it's balanced, mm. like, and it's juicy, like you can it, it can be an introductory beer mm-hmm. like for some folks like say if you were going from like a introduction introduction to some like like wheat or like mm-hmm. lagers mm-hmm. You know i mean like the dunkel that you had like yeah you know i mean mm-hmm. going from that to this like because what the, was the dunkel like what like a five something five and a half yeah yeah exactly mm-hmm. i mean like so going from that to this mm-hmm. to a seven yeah like and if if you could drink that as easily as you could drink yeah. that like mm-hmm. two or three of those is a different experience well, it's crazy for me it's about like like this beer here like i could drink this easier than I could drink the Dunkel. I'd say, you know, it, it's drier, it yeah. finishes cleaner. So, um, but that's, that's the weird thing about the ABV thing is that's not necessarily, you know, the only indicator of how, almost, you know, exactly. how drinkable beer is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. almost feel bad. Like I almost feel like I just locked the doors on a black dude walking past a car. Cause I felt like the blacker, the darker beer was the stronger one. I'm like, this is the more dangerous. <laughs> like, I felt like the Dunkel was more dangerous and this shit is higher in ABV. Like, I just did to the beer what has been done to me so many fucking times. You profiled times. I profiled the just beer. beer. I feel terrible. It's, uh, oh, it's over for me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> You're letting the white girls get away <laughs> with all the bullshit. <laughs> With this all is the why bullshit. nobody talks to me and everybody <laughs> the, talks the, today. The Tanya Hardings. <laughs> You're letting the Tanya Hardings oh. get away <laughs> with the bullshit. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, you to put them both on the table next year, you'd be like, this one is easier to drink. I'm going to, because I got to do some shit. And it's the higher ABV. That's, oh. But that's the thing about craft, though, man. Mm-hmm. Like, Every glass is different. Every every style is everything's mm-hmm. different. You can get whatever you want out of whatever. You just gotta find mm-hmm. it. It's a food, man. Yeah. It's a it's it's a food. Mm-hmm. It's as diverse as yeah. food is. Mm-hmm. And it should be diverse as food mm-hmm. is. You know what I mean? Um I don't know. Sometimes I hate treating it like like high cuisine or something like that, but I mean it's there's a lot going on in beer. I mean, you know, I like to just sit down and drink a beer, but you know, I like to actually appreciate the flavors that are in there and what went into making it and all that too. So there's a whole different element of, of cuisine. You know, you pe- you match a beer. It's not just a beer. This is like, well, yeah, I mean, cause it's like, a, it gets, don't get me wrong. I like to just sit back. I was just talking to Tom poet. I mean, full pint and like, you know, how like, you know, 
we like the hits. Like we like the classics. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of brewers that we drink with drink hams. Nothing yep. but the yeah, I mean, like <laughs> Coors, the, the banquet beer. <laughs> Nothing yeah, but I mean, the like <laughs> the Genesis. <laughs> like, you know, like they they drink. Like I love a good MGD, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So like mm-hmm. that, like that whole like you know appreciating his. It's not about being a snob. No. Yeah, I mean, like I'm not saying like you have to always dissect mm-hmm. it, and mm-hmm. if you like this, then mm-hmm. maybe you're not really into the this, that, and the other, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, at, like, but at the same time there is an appreciation oh, for it oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. the reason why we have so many varieties and mm-hmm. things of that nature are because there are people that do dis- dissect that they do enjoy mm-hmm. the art of it the engineering mm-hmm. the whatever that goes mm-hmm. into that and want to push it forward awesome. as a result yeah. so mm-hmm. i've always appreciated like drinking with you because you've always pushed forward and educated others and just had good shit <laughs> Yeah. But so how yeah, was yeah, your, my favorite was dog shit. No one. So would as you, no, I, your shit would be. I don't know. I would've, three years I in, came back. I, yeah. I, I, he's a cool guy, but you can check that other one out. Right. right. Yeah, we don't got. To, no, we don't have time for you this year. Nah. <laughs> but as you progress, how does yeah. your beer drinking experience progress? And then, like, is drinking beer more or less enjoyable to you now because you critique it so much? That's a good question. Um, there are there have been times where it's gotten to be like a chore in a sense, like dissecting beer, you know, like, like, and I just had to step back and be like, I'm going to drink lagers for, you know, a month and just get back to my base, you know, just drink beer, just drink beer. Yeah. Not because I mean, you can get too, um, for me, I think you can get too into the whole dissecting the beer process. You don't enjoy it. Like you should enjoy a beer. You should just sit down, have a beer. Don't think about it too much. As long as it tastes good to you. And that's, um, so yeah, I mean, to, to me, I kind of like try to keep keep myself in, in reality. In spec where like, I'm making beers that I like to be a little creative with them, but I want them to be a beer that you can sit down and not necessarily have to, you know, write an essay about how much you enjoy the hops or you know where the malts come out of something. What are some of your some What are some of your hits? Some of my own personal hits, or some beers I enjoy to drink. I don't know uh, <laughs> no, I mean like like the like classics. Like I mean, nothing do but you? The hits. <laughs> nothing but the hits. Yeah, nothing like nothing but yeah. the motherfucking hits. <laughs> 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 Um, I, even, I can't remember where that's from, but I do remember that. <laughs> I, um, from an old West I always album. go back to um, like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. It's like uh, I I could drink that beer any uh, situation. Sierra still makes mm-hmm. good beer. Yeah, I remember posted. I posted mm-hmm. on one of the uh, Pittsburgh mm-hmm. craft mm-hmm. beer mm-hmm. Facebook. Mm-hmm post like pages or whatever yeah. mm-hmm. like a picture of the sierra in nevada and like people were trying to shit on me i was like no nah. this is still good beer like oh, i mean like it's... Fuck. like i had to because I, I had to find a beer mm-hmm. that like my friend that really isn't that big in the beer would mm-hmm. like but mm-hmm. also i would like mm-hmm. and they have that hazy mm-hmm. and that yeah. shit is fucking delicious good. like yeah, i yeah. think it's a very well made mm-hmm. beer yeah. it's still family owned mm-hmm. and they enjoy it yeah. well, there's no there's no wrong no, here no yeah you just want to be a snob it's and yeah, right. I mean that's the level of snobbery where like people can't like a hazy IPA that comes from a big brewery like that. You know, it's hey, they're not they're where they're at for no reason. I mean, they make good beer, and if they made it well, don't knock. I mean, you can't hate them because they're big. You know? I, I'm 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 introducing private like I'm I'm mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I'm introducing craft beer. Mm-hmm. To a new individual yeah. through this brewery oh, so that sure. is a craft yeah. brewery, mm-hmm. you why are you mad at that? Yeah. And a lot of times, you know I mean, mean, that's isn't that the point? That's well, the only isn't that, that, that the only accessible way you can find to get to craft to most people. You know, you, most people can't just go to this particular brewery in some city you've never been to and find this beer. You got to find a beer that you can get for them, get them to try it, and like, oh, I like that. Where do I get more beers like that? And yeah, it's yeah. a gateway yeah. drug. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So has has the has craft kind of worked against itself in that way where it's gotten to the point where the individuals who support the industry are like fuck the fuck the establishment and a lot of times yeah fuck the establishment Mm -hmm. but it's just like whoa now if one of our own make it to the established level Mm -hmm. do we let go of them do we say do we turn against them you know like a sierra nevada Mm -hmm. they still make Mm -hmm. quality shit it's Mm -hmm. just they're making it on a level that is not the local brewery Mm -hmm. because a lot of it at least in pittsburgh and i'm more well versed in the pittsburgh scene is you know every neighborhood has its own brewery um, and mm-hmm. you can go from neighborhood to neighborhood and and try different shit and get different. Mm-hmm. You know, you get the same styles, obviously, because it's like a restaurant. You get the mm-hmm. same shit, but it's the a different take yeah. on it, a different whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's like, nah, I look at this larger, you know, in the, this larger company and they're like, well, they got to 
do shit for the masses and that's not what craft is craft isn't for the masses it's yeah. for yeah you know i mean mm-hmm. it's for the individual so mm-hmm. how do you think it's working against itself in that way it's a tough call like to say what's what's too big to be craft i mean i don't think they, they try what's to get that too big to be craft that, like that you know like that, one's selling out that designation <laughs> of like you know oh we're, we're you're still craft here but you're not craft if you sell this many or if you or have two breweries across the country. Like, right. is that craft? I don't know. Um, but then, you know, a lot of people, you know, shit on anheuser Bush cause they buy up a lot of craft breweries and then like still try to sell it as craft. And then, I mean, there is, you know, a level of, I don't say deception going on there, but I mean, they buy craft brewers and then oh, well, it's, they're, so- not, they're not owned by independent people. So you, there, there is a level where that's not a craft brewery because they're not owned by independent people that are trying to support the under level craft beer. They're, they're trying to support big beer by buying out, you know, so, so I, I mean, it's a tough, no, 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 just, yeah. Cause there's a difference between InBev and mm-hmm. privately owned. And exactly. like I guess, yeah. again, Sierra mm-hmm. is still a, like a family owned like brewery for, for what I understand. I mean, like, so it's still big. very much mm-hmm. craft beer. Whereas mm-hmm. like, yeah, I mean, like InBev and golden road and some of like the big, yeah, I mean like the goose Island. Yeah, I mean, like those are, and that's what it, like, that's where the sellout point is. Yeah. I mean, like, because then it's really not your shit anymore. And here's mm-hmm. my thing. Uh, if that's something that comes across your plate and that's going to change the lives of you and everybody else mm-hmm. that you know, then fucking go do that shit. And I mean, like, I don't, I ain't mad uh, I at would, you right now. Yeah. That doesn't mean that I'm going to keep buying your mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. now mm-hmm. it's like, uh, uh, you got to really be doing mm-hmm. something for me to buy it. Mm-hmm. I get it. You cashed out. Mm-hmm. Cool. Let's all cash out. We all help mm-hmm. do that. Hopefully mm-hmm. you take those funds. Yeah. And you help support the community sure, with those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I can mm-hmm. I can at least feel like that's a community win. Look, mm-hmm. we all supported you into the point that you could cash out. Mm-hmm. And then you fucking took yeah. those dollars, mm-hmm. made you sure that you mm-hmm. and your peoples was cool. Mm-hmm. And then you brought it back to the community yeah. and tried to help mm-hmm. like bring some peoples up. Now that's a community win. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we all just kind of left left them with this like goose egg. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? This like, dying brand like, like it, yeah, once yeah. it like mm-hmm. it cashed mm-hmm. out and it was like, yeah. And now we're all gone. We're yeah. on to the next young, mm. up and coming. Yeah, I mean, yeah. folks to mm. kind of like do the same thing. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I personally am not going to like support a whole lot of in dev movements. Like, I agree. I, I don't think you, you should. I, I just wonder sometimes what, like, can a brewery you love get to a point that's too big and then. Like, is there ever a point when you when you should stop supporting them just because they got too big? I mean, I, I yeah. feel like that's disingenuous because you wanted them, you know, their beer is good, you want them to get bigger, but yeah, you know. and that's that's yeah. what's crazy. Like, mm-hmm. where we haven't drawn a line. There's this understood like threshold, but we don't know where it is, mm-hmm. and and it's kind of ridiculous to mm-hmm. say, all right, look, I'll support you, but if you keep growing, like <laughs> I can't support you no more. But it's just like mm-hmm. well, that doesn't make sense. But mm-hmm. how do you how how would how do you think that would be or how would that look though? Like a large, mm. uh, nationally distributed, larger, you know, domestic or whatever craft brewery that is still true to the craft, mm-hmm. but, you know, they have this wide distribution network. Because it's, it's hard to introduce, you, like, you can't. styles and shit yeah. like that and, and, and it'd be consumable you, you for the average you person. Can't, you can't maintain the same level of quality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and the same level of distribution like there's a very mm-hmm. clear and cut like between home cooked meals and master it doesn't fucking matter mm-hmm. if you are cooking for 10 people it's going to taste different than if you cook for fucking a thousand people mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. does not matter like unless you have the same amount of people a, mm-hmm. cooking the yeah. same amount of fucking mm-hmm. food and you don't have that in mass distribution so you cannot uphold that same level yeah. of quality mm-hmm. and that's why I say it's okay to support the uh, and if you say once they sell out to that level mm-hmm. then say okay yeah cool now like like here's my thing like well, so then is, is it selling out or is it cashing but, out no I, I, I'm not, like say like a goose uh, is, is it Island. Goose Island mm-hmm. like they do the bourbon yeah. uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean mm-hmm. and like and those bottles from my understanding are still good beer oh, yeah, yeah. so like mm-hmm. to to mm-hmm. say be, just because mm-hmm. they're in Bev I can't mm-hmm. support them mm-hmm. that's I would I could understand that argument mm-hmm. to say that's disingenuous because yeah. they mm-hmm. are still putting out shit that's worth spending money you know what I mean oh, yeah. for it yeah you know I mean and I feel like they still got I mean the people that work for Goose Island are still good brewers mm-hmm. I mean so I mean do you stop supporting people like that just because their company got bought out. I don't. I don't know where where you draw the line. What's the difference yeah. between selling out and cashing mm. out? 
Because mm. think the about it. You, every, you gotta want to cash out at some point. Like you gotta want to do that. I mean, mm. like, I don't know. You put all the work to build it that big. Why, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. Unless mm. you just like truly are like, mm. yo, I'm in craft for. Mm. The advancement of craft, <laughs> and my yeah, only yeah. objective is the mm. advancement of craft. Yeah. Then I, mm. I could see where if mm. you were bought out, you sold mm. out. But like, if you in it for business and you love craft, yeah. and that's mm. a totally different thing. Mm. Like, is it selling out or is it you know what I mean cashing out? Yeah. And like, I, I, I'm personally, I'm never on a count of dudes pockets type mm-hmm. of thing. Cash the fuck out. Mm. Like that's it's a yeah. big thing in in Pittsburgh right now with the Le'Veon Bell thing. Yeah. I thought mm. it was, I thought it was. I thought it was, um, yeah, I was really disappointed with the team kind of shitting on him. For, like, listen, he's trying man, to cash out. Don't count that motherfucker. You can't count that motherfucker's pockets. Let that here. nigga listen, ca- man, let him cash listen, out. Man, listen, man. Listen, man. Yo, you talking about players' rights. They ain't paying the NCAA for fucking players. Mm-hmm. They're making billions of dollars. They're sending motherfucking people on golf tours and shit <laughs> around the country and around the let world. That man They're sending cash soccer out. teams around the world based on the back of these motherfuckers that are carrying this ball, mm-hmm. that are getting fucking concussions and, literally and being left broke at the end of their careers. Mm-hmm. Yo, let them motherfuckers cash out. Are you kidding me? And the way you know they how much, yo, nobody talk position. about Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones is out here trying <laughs> oh, to throw yeah. shackles on yeah. these motherfuckers mm-hmm. and you talking about the motherfucker that's sitting out a couple of games because he wants to catch. Yo, and, they, fuck and the way they structure that position his position i mean it's, it's if, a, if my it's son wanted shortest. to play football i would say don't be a running back just because right. the yeah. way they yeah. do yeah. it mm-hmm. they get Three the years. most production out of you within your rookie contract Three years and then they tell you you're getting old thereafter so your they can't average pay. the average in a the average running back career is three years and let NFL. that man three years out. that's it that's and, that and, and, there's, and, there's no, all, and he's already been injured. And there's nothing guaranteed at all. Uh, nah. that's, that's the whole point of me. Yeah. Like, and if he doesn't play, we at least tie them. Like, <laughs> clean, you, you, cannot, you, cannot, you, cannot, you cannot support a $15 an hour wage <laughs> and then <laughs> tell a motherfucker you need to just show up because you need to mother because yeah. yeah, shut the, 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 the fuck. Yeah. You need to know your worth. You're generating the, how much money off of this shit. But I say that to say because within craft, I think that's where craft is going to. It's going to mm-hmm. be like there's going to be, I don't want to say an argument, a debate on what what is being true. Mm. Because once money starts coming into some shit, you got different mm. people looking mm. at money differently. Mm. You know what I mean? Like with the NFL, it's like, all right, as the running back, I'm mm. looking at money one mm. way. Mm. As the organization, I'm looking at an investment another way. Mm. With craft, it's like, look, I'm able to build this shit and it brings something to this economy here. So mm. if my craft brewery is in, you know, whatever, if it's in Allentown where we are now and I'm bringing this economy to Allentown, but we're growing our name and shit like that. Mm. At some point, I should be able to catch on with the fuck I'm doing. I'm working hard. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can never, mm-hmm. I can never look down on a person who's like, I worked hard. I'm trying to cash out on this shit. If they're pure to mm-hmm. whatever, like, so I guess with craft where it gets where it gets a little hazy is once you cra- once you cash out, how much of your quality do you compromise? How much of the product is now compromised? How much of it is really craft as opposed to domestic? So I guess that's where it comes. Like, craft is difficult. I feel like. The other thing with that is, you know, when you get a, a business to a certain level, a lot of guys that get into brewing, they don't they don't want to run a business. They want to brew beer. Right. And when you get to a certain level of how much you're making and you want to take that next step, it's just all business. So some guys just don't want to do that. So why not just let somebody come in who knows how to artists. do it? Yeah. I mean, like some artists yeah. don't want to be business. They, they don't want to do that whole thing. They just want to create. So they like, let the businessman come in and do it. And yeah. then, I mean, you can't fault them for that because that's the only way you can get big big like that yeah. but then you you say is that better it's not better it's, you know, yeah it's i mean that, it happens in all industries too i've mm-hmm. i've actually um you know i've facilitated <laughs> some some stuff some mergers and acquisitions and it happens yes. like it's it's One individuals time. and even even in like um in the medical profession mm-hmm. so you'll have these private practices um, and, and, and they could be dermatologists or whatever, and they, they have this private practice, but then it gets to a point where, all right, this larger construct is going to come in and you're going to partner with, but they're basically going to acquire you and then they're going to run the operation. Yeah. So the, the way you've done things is no longer the way you're going to do things moving forward, but you can focus on what you've been trained in, what you've been educated in. You're a dermatologist yeah. or you're a fucking 
uh, pediatric, whatever, like you can stay with that. Mm-hmm. But we're going to take over how this shit is done, the billing, all that. We taking over all of that. And sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, it may the consumer may look at it like, well, you've been able to do this for years. Mm-hmm. Like You've been able to put me on a 60-day invoice for years, and now all of a sudden I got to pay you up front. I got to, but it's like, yo, we, we moved to another level. Yeah. Like, we on some other shit mm-hmm. right now. Like, and you got to respect people being on some other shit if it's if it's progression. Yeah. Or fucking Bev. <laughs> yeah, fucking Bev. So, I didn't speak to Let's anyone specifically. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. definitely, yeah, fuck, fucking Bev. But, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, shout out to the folks but that, that thing like, isn't... make that and, and put it back in the community. I saw, yeah. as, long as, as long as at the end of the day, whatever whatever cash out, whatever you do in this, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? You're at least opening doors or creating opportunities. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I would love to see that. people that got to that level take it and start, you know, another grassroots brewery and, you know, try to keep the chain going, build these breweries up. Um, Cause I think that's the only way to really build craft. You know, it, it, you can't just have craft mass market. It's just not the way the whole product. Mm. I mean, I, th- I think, I think honestly, I think the future of craft beer is going to be just like local, you know, like, yeah. like the, like those German towns that are just like, everybody has their own little local right. spot. And like, yeah, I think if you, you want it, yeah. you get it. Yeah. I mean, like, like the mass distribution mm-hmm. is going to kind of like, I think it's going to die. Like I, I think it's going to, you know, yeah. I mean, because people, you don't even going to need to, like, it, it'll be nice when you go over there. It'll be a luxury. Like mm-hmm. when you get to other places, but like, you don't have to ship beer across if like within mm. uh 10 15 20 30 mile radius yeah. you have just about everything you could sure, right. want to drink you yeah know what i mean I, like yeah, i don't think we'll see another like sierra nevada again i don't think anyone's gonna get that big yeah it just it seems needless because you can get mover. that good of beer anywhere you know locally so why have them ship it from yeah i mean across the country you don't need it like, I, it's nice yeah. when somebody mm-hmm. else has mm-hmm. beer that's yeah. from around or whatever mm-hmm. if like i'm in a six-pack mm-hmm. shop mm-hmm. i may grab something or whatever but like i'm cool I'm with the a bunch beer. of shit here so. I, there's still like 20 breweries in the city i oh, haven't yeah. been yeah. to yeah. Mm-hmm. like yeah i mean so like this there's, there's a lot of local beer i haven't had yet, yeah so. yeah i mean that's that's the the good thing about where we're at in the industry right now is it we're the, the cup is running through with run it over with yeah. beers. I mean, you can literally not drink you all the beers around. Got the home brewers, yeah, putting they shit out, putting they don't. Yeah, I wonder like, why am I still throw doing a random yeah. dunkle in the game? Yeah. And like, oh, I got fucks with speaking, that. Speaking of dunkles, uh, did you bring a? Did you bring another beer? I did bring one more beer. Um, Ooh, this one's a little deal breaker. Uh, a deal breaker. <laughs> this one here is a. Uh, one of your favorites, but it's a uh, it's a little funkified Wolf. version of the Bridge of the Gap. Ooh, wait, what? No, 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 we ain't say that shit. No, what? No, so, wait, wait, no, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just before I before I go completely off the handle because that wasn't completely off the handle. <laughs> did you say uh, bridge the gap? I did say bridge the gap. Yeah, and and while I know I told you that everyone at Fresh Fest drank up two kegs that I had made specifically for this show, I have one like weirdo half a keg that I've sitting around. I've been aging on wood and funk for forever. So it's like a year and a half old and it's kind of got, I don't know, all kinds of weird wood funky characters. So, yeah. Oh man. So, yeah. Oh, that's fucking crazy. Bro. So, yeah. Man. Nah, that's, we'll that's give this one a go shit, for the last that's, round. I got a couple bottles here. So. That's, that's <laughs> wow. Um, I don't even know what to say, man. Right. Cause I was, I was completely like, yeah, I mean, like I was just, I, just, I, you know, I was, I was, I was ready just for, you know, like to to enjoy your great beer, and then you brought <laughs> yeah. the, co- the collab. Come on, I gotta bring the collab, man. Uh, this beer was popular. I gotta say, at Fresh Fest, man, you were driving, yo, you were pe- driving the crowd over. A and and everybody was like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have that? Did you have that? <laughs> did you have that bridge of the gap? Yeah, did you have that bridge of the gap? Yeah, that bridge. <laughs> yeah. I was I was just standing there serving beers and I just see you bringing hey, people, like leading people hand by hand over like yeah like because I like we didn't we didn't like go yo did you so oh I love the fact that you you broke the motherfucking seal <laughs> <laughs> nigga you broke the seal last episode <laughs> but I did it at the right moment <laughs> you got to pick your movements man yo you know what we got here here y'all got the so show. Is this not the Functify? It is Functify, but what is what do you want? Mm, man, bro. Wait, I'm gonna wait till I, wait. Is this because you didn't he didn't hear the label from me and shit? 
I mean, it's, and by pass your beer label like that, you can't see the label. Yeah, you can't. You I don't, don't want. Don't look at that. Don't, don't look at the label. Disregard the label. It's just a a, yeah. ves, a vessel to. Mm. Okay, so. the label was lighter than the beer, so I don't <laughs> trust it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all kinds of different oh, flavors going on oh, now. So yeah. Wow. I'm gonna sip away from I'm gonna sip away from the mic and then y'all can get hold on, let me see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. The puzzled look on Ed's face right now. Mmm. <laughs> It's got that. Did yeah. he bring us our shit? That, yeah. <laughs> okay, I knew I wasn't tripping. Yeah. I'm like, did he bring us our shit? Yeah. Because we so, so, so front fry. Yeah. So, what? Yeah, so this one's, I want to say about a year and a half. Um, and it's been aging on wood and it's dried out a lot. I mean, it used to be a lot more full and it's real dry and woody and kind of funky now. So. It's yakta. Yeah. It's still yeah, the underlying is, cognac notes to it. This think, is but. this is this is a dream come true, and you should <laughs> name it that. A dream come true. This is like what? This is real effect on the industry, right? Like this is dope. Like this, I don't understand why more people don't do this. Half. This one's about a year and a half, I think. Wow. Yeah, because it was a little bit before last year's episode. I made this one. So. Uh, I was and the puzzle. I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah. Cause he like he hit us with the the fifty two oh, fake yeah. out like so yeah nah I ain't gonna be able to bring anything man, that that bridge but you know, not to steal like, from the own network and I was like but this is us I wouldn't sure like, this is I us. really didn't think it was it was still gonna taste any good I've, I've been using it to kind of blend with the new beers to give a little there's bit there's nothing that. that you could put yak involved with that's not good it's nah. gonna be good nah. this is I I listen thank you for doing right. this shit Cheers. thanks for having me this is oh man. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all listen. Like, why are these motherfuckers? Listen, this is what happens. <laughs> when you when you when you listen to a drinking podcast and we actually drink and we drink <laughs> on two episodes and then the motherfucker brings our two beer. Two. Yeah, our this beer. happens. This is this our happens. first this is our first the collaboration. First time. This is the baby. This is our first collaboration. And this is like the this is I, I, what would you say? Like a a, a two point five uh like Cause there was the 1.0 and then it was the 2.0, but like this is like a year and a half. Yeah, like, so this so is, is like, probably like the you're probably right because I mean the one, the one I have for Fresh was definitely the 3.0. The 3.0. And this is like a 2.5 two iteration of the two. Yeah, yeah. Like somewhere in there. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> why age. why why do people not do cognac beers more often? This is so good to me. <sighs> and what does it clock in? Like a nice ten. This one actually, I think was. A ten and a half. Ten and a half. If I remember correctly, yeah. So this is in the right realm of uh <laughs> and, and y'all don't yeah. see our resident GDI in the building. Like yeah. he, he he clutching his pearly, like, yeah, okay, I'll like, fucks with it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he he was like, nah, the rest of them he was like, mm, nah, mm. And he's like, Yeah, you know what? And that's because he's twelve and up on you know his what? scale. You know, so he, and that's why we call that the bridge the gap. You gotta that's bridge it. the gap. That's it. Yeah. I come from New York City. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad I had some. Uh, this definitely, damn it. Damn you for being broken, you <laughs> elephant tusk. <laughs> if I could bridge the gap with my tusk, man, I'd be. I can't wait to sit on my porch with a bridge the gap in my elephant tusk and tell a motherfucker, get off my lawn. <laughs> we got to, we got to, uh, so we got to age, uh, we got to age a sour on cognac. There you go. There you go. The was sour, that the last remember, time we were here? Sour was that the last time we were here? we poured the yak in the sour henny? Yeah, no. Nah, was oh, was yeah. that the last time we were here? Huh. Yeah, that yeah, was the last time we were here. They came up with a, yeah. The he, sour, he, like a whiskey sour the, kind yeah, of, or like shit. cognac. I mean, okay. like, so like, I was, we call um, them sour hennies. I was, I was, I was, um, I was trying to think of a name of that. Cause I was like, just got the, the sour henny, like uh, yeah, we ain't come up with an official. <laughs> I was thinking name. Miles in that yak because of Shannon Sharp, because Shannon Sharp's like my favorite. He's just like my favorite Miles person. In that yak. Miles yeah. in that yak. <laughs> you talking crazy, Skip? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Like, I mean, is that something that could happen? Oh, certainly. I mean, like, anything could like happen. A, yeah. I mean, can you brew a sour? 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't brew very he often. He got a corduroy so. hat on. There's nothing he I'm can't just, do. I'm just. Yeah, I mean, because I don't know. Possible he's around us with well, his well, hat. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying. We. I'm. I'm trying to shop a, a that that the blackest thing ever. Man. That's that's what we call Is it. The it? blackest <laughs> thing we've ever done. Yes, that's what it. I knew we had a name for it. And it's got to be all caps. And the thing is, the first caps got to be small. And it's got to progressively get larger. <laughs> it's the blackest thing we've ever done. Like, we, had like this, we had this equilibrium. And it was a yeah. sour. And mm-hmm. it was like a heavy sour. Mm-hmm. And it was... It was nice. It was you could have one, yeah. like mm-hmm. you couldn't mm-hmm. have a bunch, mm-hmm. but like we had a mm-hmm. keg of it. So like I was like, ah, I don't know how I'm gonna drink another. Mm-hmm. And we like our guest brought in Henny mm-hmm. as is ought to do. Well, sometimes. we say this at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode. yes, we love crap here, but we never forget our roots. So we we happen to have like the first episode, mm-hmm. some craft beer and some mm-hmm. henny, and I just like and that poured it in because I like I was circle. like mm-hmm. that might just the flavor cut yeah, it a little yeah, bit uh, like that sour and I, and like it looked at it looked at me with like yeah I was oh. a little nervous <laughs> I was like I don't know bro <laughs> like what is you I'm like, like are you sure you want to do it? well it's really it. like do you want to do that yes yeah. like, that's, that's two different liquors and I can, I don't drink Long Island's no more so like Long Island's was my first drink that I had where it was multiple liquor so I'm yeah, like I'm yeah. looking at it like I don't know bro like that could be it's been problem, that could be tragic like, yeah. you got a long commute after this and then and then it was funny cause like I was yeah. reluctant cause he kept doing it I'm just like I, I wanna jump in but I was talking shit at first <laughs> Look, and so good. I was like you know what good. let me just go ahead and I was like Ooh. yeah he's like you might you might have done <laughs> You might have did. <laughs> that sounds so, all right, though. Yeah. But so yeah, no. Nah, I mean, we want to we want to try that brew. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you oh, want to yeah. get down. We could talk off I, air. I get a year, get a year to can, work on this year. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, next year yeah, yeah. there's a whole. We got time. That's, that's we got crazy. A whole festival within, coming. Oh yeah, yeah. You see what I'm within saying? Within the yeah. craft yeah. industry, we got 20, so, 2019 fresh that's coming. So up. Yeah. much like, room to do. So much shit, yo. And I don't know why nobody, uh, I'm going to keep it real, I don't know why nobody, and Buzzy might have to edit this out because we don't get nobody no ideas, but <laughs> I don't understand why no one has approached this industry and be like, we could do so motherfucking much. Like, that's what we doing. Like, we don't just, we don't limit it to podcasting. We'll do whatever the fuck if craft's involved because craft invokes a good time. It's like you having influence on the shit you put in your body Mm -hmm. and how it affects your body and how it affects the time you have. Why would you not want to invest in some shit like this? Like all this Mm -hmm. shit is Mm -hmm. customizable. Mm -hmm. Everything we do is an event that, Mm -hmm. yeah, the larger construct of the event you've seen before, but Mm -hmm. not how we do it. (laughs) <laughs> not the way we do the shit like you've yeah. seen these events you've seen a comedy show before yeah. but you didn't get free liquor <laughs> you didn't no, get to I bring like, your own I shit I mean like you 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 don't get the quality and mm. you don't get as much local support like mm. everything we do is like like local we're like we got like when we do these comedy shows mm. like the venue mm. The patrons, the comics, the 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 breweries, mm. the food trucks. Yeah, you know I mean, like it's a whole community that is working right. to make these things happen. That's what we were saying about Fresh Fest. Like, it wasn't us doing it. We like had a vision and wanted yeah. to, to support the community, mm-hmm. and the community was like, you know what? Yeah, they that up, sounds yeah. dope. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. And like, and they said, let's do that. It wasn't mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I'm shot, like shot, I didn't shot, do shot, it. Shot, we didn't shot, do it. Shot, we shot, all shot. did that yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Everybody like showed up and like, and that was the thing was that like when we were all like looking for like like when we ran into problems, mm-hmm. it was the brewers mm-hmm. that were there, uh, Lee Schmidt and the and the stewards of beer that mm-hmm. were there, yeah. like mm-hmm. Buzzy mm-hmm. talking to yeah. him, like yeah, I mean that, like yeah, you know I mean leading mm-hmm. up to it was, it was the community mm-hmm. that like that. That's why I didn't feel like a first year festival oh, yeah. was because everybody involved mm-hmm. was a professional, yeah. mm-hmm. and I was calling everybody <laughs> that was involved, yeah. like especially that last two weeks, yeah. I was like oh, yeah. hitting motherfuckers mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. like every day. We yeah. were like, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, so but that was a community that helped make that happen i mean that's, like that's what it, i mean for any beer fest i mean it's a community of people that come together to make it happen i mean yeah. i think what was cool about fresh fest for me was that all the collaboration beers to me were just mind-blowing just how many how many people got together to make beers just for that that festival and we're just off you know not, i don't say off the wall like just crazy but they were good yeah but beers like you're not gonna even 
dream to have anywhere. That's else, what diversity offers. Yeah. I mean, and I, I love it because it, it brought a different voice to even breweries, you know, because it was just that, you know, the voice over here, like, well, why don't we try, like, for, for you guys. That's what, what the you first guys, thing you, you said. Guys said. Why don't you try cognac? I was like, let's do it. I didn't think of it, but I'll do it. Yeah, yeah like that, yeah. I didn't know that was even yeah. a thing. That you you asked good. us. <laughs> yeah. That feels good. Now, you don't understand <laughs> yeah. how good that feels to me. You asked yeah. us, like, well, you were like, yo, you want to, like, I want to brew a beer for you. <laughs> and I was like, wait, you're just going to brew a <laughs> beer? <laughs> for like, 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 and like, what do you want? What do you <laughs> like? <laughs> and it was just a question, and <laughs> it just, I didn't even know <laughs> That yeah, when he asked me, I was like, "No, nah, I want cognac in." It. <laughs> yeah, he was like, "You cognac." <laughs> He's like, "Are you sure? no cognac?" <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Ah, right, yeah, cognac." Yeah, like, okay. and you were it's like, "Full circle." All right. and and it and it and it just like it happened, and mm. it and it, <laughs> and it's and we've been yeah. able to monitor its growth. Yeah, like it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like three a toddler now. <laughs> three different versions. But that's yeah. what I'm saying yeah. is that like you had that. It was that voice that mm. like, yeah. that was it. Like you said, you you hadn't yeah. even thought of that. Mm-hmm. Like to mm-hmm. do that. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. like that helped push. Yeah, I mean things. And honestly, at yeah. Fresh, mm. there were a, 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 a cadre of people that were yeah. like coming back and saying like, "Yo, that fuck, did you have that?" Like, and I was like, "Yeah, did you know that was ours?" Yeah, I, didn't I was like, know "Do you know we start, yeah. Y'all didn't. First of all, you didn't look at the flyer because we were right next to that. Uh, second of all, you don't listen to the podcast because we were talking about this shit. Like, did what you mean that I had it? Motherfucker, I, I've been tasting that shit since I started craft. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have that? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> do you know where yeah. that came from? You are at a black beer festival. You don't think the organizers had anything to do with the cognac beer? Of course we had something to do with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hands all over that. <laughs> oh. All right, so look, there were shots put in front of me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. What is that? They're be- those they're, are beers. They're beer are those shots. KBS years? Oh, my. Are those the years <laughs> of KBS? 14. Oh. Oh, oh, oh shit! Okay, okay. I didn't even see the hold shots on. in front of y'all because I on. thought he had yeah. put hold shots on, in front. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he gonna break the okay, seal? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I break the seal and can can, can you, you have take these, us through these? these? Yeah, these yeah. years. Do you want to take us? Ah, ah. Do we know the? Do we know <laughs> the? Do we know which one is fourteen, fifteen, which one sixteen for each uh, one? Just so we are all 15, over 15, here. 15, 15, okay, okay, 15, okay. Yeah, we just want to make sure we all on the same yeah. shit. Wow, it's, it's I can't just say like. Man, can I say to the listeners on, on some on some real shit? Like the the way this stuff has grown over like this is not something that we were doing when we first started this. Like mm-hmm. nobody was coming out. It wasn't the same level of support. And I uh I just want to thank everybody who who fucks with us, man. Like it's 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 crazy. Like I, I I'm brand new to the craft when I started this shit. Like I they, you know, he liked craft beer, but I don't think he was invested in the industry. Like, and the way we've been embraced, the love that we've gotten to be able to do a fresh fest, to be able to work with a trub, to be able to have politicians on. Like, this shit is crazy. Like, we're able to do, like, it, y'all make me feel like I'm doing real shit. Y'all make <laughs> me feel good sleeping to my wifey at night because no matter what she argues with me about, motherfucker, I'm a drinking partner. You can't tell me shit because I'm a drinking partner. And that shit means something. Mm-hmm. Like, the fact that being a drinking partner, mean something being out in this world and people be like aren't you one of and they fuck the name up like, aren't you one of the drinking buddies no i'm not you're the drinking brothers <laughs> you're the drinking, brother. drinking, drink, brother, drinking crew <laughs> <laughs> you're a drinking dude yeah i am a drinking dude but i'm a drinking partner and that shit means something so we go 14 15 16 14, 15, 16, and him 14, 15, 16? 14, 15, Okay, yeah, 14. so we're going to start oh, with the 14. 14's on the right here, right? Oh. I've only had KBS, so uh, so I guess tell us tell us what KBS is real quick. Well, you can introduce <laughs> yourself, let them know who you <laughs> yeah. are. This is our resident, resident GDI. He's in the building making shit super swag for us. <laughs> My name is Felice Bay. Uh, I've been drinking for about five years. I went crazy trying to find the best stouts and the best beer out there. Right now, we're sampling uh, KBS. It's Founders Kentucky Breakfast Stout. <laughs> we have three years uh, to try it today. Yep. Three <laughs> different. So there's three different variations, it's three different levels of aging. 14, 15, and 16. I, uh, 17 is a little boozy. <laughs> 18's boozy also, letting the mellow out a little. Mm-hmm. You got to mellow out. Yeah. You got to <laughs> age. You got to let that, like, knock that in. 
Like that I, did not, I, I did not come in here on a Sunday afternoon expecting this. <laughs> three, ain't that how it happened? Ain't that how it goes now? Neither did I. Ain't that how it happened? Neither did I. I need to, first of all. It's been on my calendar for quite some time. Can I take this I moment? Didn't expect it can either. I take this moment to apologize oh, to all the wifeys of all the gentlemen who indulge in Thank craft you. beer? Shout out to the wifeys. Thank you yes. for dealing with our bullshit. <laughs> Thank you you for must the understand that the way we come home was not how we anticipated. <laughs> not at all. The way I'm coming home today, <laughs> that's just, not what I that's not how I drew it up. Nah, yeah, no. <laughs> not at all. No coming home. I just dealt totally with it the best I could. <laughs> yeah, like I can't say no. This is a this is a community that we're a part of, and thank you all for supporting it. Yeah. Like it feels really good to be a part of a community. No, like no, yeah. that's no. one thing that Dave and I and I applaud you, Dave, for for helping me recognize. Is like this is a real fucking community. Like this is real. Like this. I just I just it's real. It's, again, this craft beer mm-hmm. shit, man. Like that collaborative like effort of yeah. the craft mm-hmm. like beer industry, where you know that like rising tides raise all ships. Sure, like that yeah, mentality yeah. is is something that you know, we spread. So which one of these do we do first? Right. 14, you yeah. do versus so you go up in the years. So if you're drinking, so 14, 15, and then 16. Okay. All right. Wait, so here we go. This is this is 14. No, you're 14. You, you want to start there. Is my to 14 the right. here? The right, yeah. 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 Okay. So 14 is going to have the most head Our, on no, it. No, 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 no. Because no, it no, looks no, like no, it. Because yeah, right. he said this is right. my 14. Yeah. On, if that's his 14, right. and that's your 14. Right. It has the most head. So it's crazy how oh, it, okay. your okay. Hand it's is crazy different how that's from working. My hand. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, it's crazy yes. how that's working, yo. Just looking at it. I should not it. be drinking. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you know who we are. <laughs> you know what it is, drinking partners, drinking partners. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's stoutish. Ooh. That's the definition of stout. That is smooth. <laughs> smooth but stouty. Yeah. No, that is. You know how I know I like butter. a good stout. <laughs> you know how I know butter. that I like the stout. I immediately be like, how do? How would this be on top of ice cream? I don't know why, but that, I got that chocolate ice cream. Yeah, like, like I be feels, thinking, like how would this be like on top creamy. of ice cream? Like the yeah. the the booze didn't hit me until like at the bottom of it, yeah. like an afterwards. Mm-hmm. Like you get all yeah. of that milky, all mm-hmm. that good, like mm-hmm. that that mm, like, I mean breakfast flavor, mm-hmm. and then later it's like. You know there's beer in here. <laughs> Just remind you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, you're getting fucked you up. Right? Yeah, <laughs> you know drinking partners, drinking here. partners. So but wait, like, did you not drink not all of it? Pal- like it's not like a like is it, huh? You not drink all of it? No, no. I I he said, it. Oh, well, so I I'm have a, to take it all. Our host had to come back. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wants us to come back to it. Mm. So not to drink it all? I I take All right. Well, so I fucked that up because I took it. I didn't think we were. I and, drank it all. And then I took it again because I thought, and then now we back. Because well, I probably shouldn't be drinking. probably shouldn't have put them in shot classes. That's a- yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> first of all, I leave, I leave nothing in a shot, all right? I don't leave nothing. What? Are we critiquing KBS 14? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to. Stop drinking. This is the last. No, you're not. <laughs> we got two more. others. So, I'm not done. I'm so done. you want us to take a sip and then come back through, and then come and then come back through afterwards. Oh, so you yeah, go yeah, up yeah. and then you go back. Yeah. Oh, because that's what I was wondering. Was like, I wonder if it's gonna taste different going back or forth, <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah. Mm. But it, you could get, kind of do both. Man, it's what they call. Okay, it. so it's what they call a vertical, go, a vertical tasting, right? Here. Is that what they call it? A when you vert- go up in age, yeah. It's vertical taste. Uh, so you take a sip yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you sip the uh, yeah. the first one mm-hmm. and you So what do they call it when it's backwards? Well, there's not really a backwards. It's just they, We don't you, go backwards. Gen- generally crash. you do the oldest one first and go up. I or, never you know, go back. Or you do a horizontal tasting for that's all the same year. That's, uh, that's the other one, yes. But cheers to fifteen. Cheers 15. to the fifteen. Our listeners are confused. Fifteen was uh fifteen was a good year. I mean, it was uh before the um rapture. So now we taste the 14 again. Okay. But now we're supposed to. Well, I think, do we go all the way up to 16 now and come back? Oh, okay. okay. So I found that one to be a little roastier than the, than the 14 was. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have to do this it, first. It didn't guess. seem, <laughs> it didn't, it, it didn't, it, it didn't seem as like heavy. Yeah, the creaminess was not there the same way the 14. Okay, to me yes. Was, yeah. I do agree with that. Mm-hmm. I do agree mm-hmm. with that. Mm-hmm. 
I do agree with that. I, I would say next time we do this, it's going to be on the first cast. <laughs> mm. huh? I, uh, well, so if you didn't understand, we had uh, politicians on. So I was not going to sit and drink with you. Shit, we didn't curse. <laughs> and then we talk to, didn't uh, curse. I appreciate it. I appreciate that you we did. We were on our best <laughs> you, saved, you saved all the heavy drinking for me. I yeah, I'm not going to. Listen to episode 184, the Antonio Brown you episode. Crap, sir. Like, yeah, we like, did not no, I curse. Just, yeah. you know, I can handle, I I can handle we, a couple of oats. Like, you know, I think like, we cursed like mm, twice that whole episode. Yeah, I was, wow. We was because, on our best behavior. Yeah, we were on our better be, love that. Oh, yeah. We killed that shit. We were on our best behavior. Between the two of us, shout out shout out to Sarah and Summer. Sarah and Summer. It was the summer of Sarah. The summer of Sarah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, shout out to them or whatever, but we were only world. able to do that because yeah. we had respect for both of y'all. We had respect for them, Much and we had respect yeah. for the fact that I wasn't about to have, like, a couple of oats. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like... Right, was, yeah, I don't think we could reverse yeah. the order. Nah. We would have, yeah. Nah, First of all, nah. it took me a half hour to have a question to <laughs> ask. I was just like, I'm learning so much, and oh, it's yeah. just too... Uh, let me stop. Uh, can so, we, so we 16, go to 16? 16? 16? Here's my thing. I might be a little biased. But fuck 2016. This is 16 years you're about to go. 2016. 2016 was a better year than 2017. The year was bad. For me, 2016 was better. I died in 2017. You did die in 2017. Very early. <laughs> Very early, but you I did. You also found out you may be like low key Jesus. Like, I mean, <laughs> like Wolverine. Like, yeah, I mean, like you came back from some wild shit. You found out, like, you got some. And it fucks with chops. the money, though. You know what's crazy? I kind of wish I had the <clears throat> genes of an old person because then I could, like, send pictures where I'm just, like, super fucked up, but I kind of recovered a lot better. I, I'm, Buzz is going to have to deep. erase that because I'm in the middle of a lawsuit. But yeah, I like the bounce back has been a lot better than most. And I, I attribute a lot of that to drinking partners, man. Just to have yeah. something positive that you're doing to be a part of positive shit. Man, it helps. Wow. It's definitely closer to the. 15 than the 14. Wow, how, how much different these taste, you know. I would say this is closer to the 15 than the 14. Yeah, like, yeah. The, the 14 was a lot more, it, it felt more full. Yeah, that 14 was stouty. crazy. It was crazy, yeah. creamy, like, you know. Um, yes. And these, these last... These are a little more bitter. To me, I mean, I get bitter chocolate and I get some dryness out of it. They're all good, but the 14 was... I hate to say the oldest beer was the best, but... I think it was. <laughs> Isn't that how that works? Yeah, I, think, I think it usually is. Yeah. I mean, to a excuse me, yeah, to a certain yeah, point, yeah. you age it, and then it, yeah. it reaches a climax, yeah. and then mm -hmm. there's a steep drop off. My understanding. Generally, yeah. I mean, there's so usually, then we, it, doesn't we go, get, it doesn't get any better from that. So point. then we go back down. I because I'd, I'd actually <laughs> like to go back down real quick. Okay. I'm gonna finish. Yeah. So this is seven sixteen. Oh, you want to finish? It? Oh, yeah, because I guess we got to finish it. Yeah, that makes sense. We should finish these shot glasses. We can't finish shot glasses of KBS. Are we drinking partners? All right, so I, went, I did 16. I'm going to do 15 to 14. Now, yeah. Okay, now if I taste this 14, I'll be like, you know what? Coming down, it gets frothier and frothier. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I felt like I got more oh. impact going 16, 15, 14, yeah, and 14, 15, yeah, 16. Yeah, because yeah. you appreciate the, yeah. uh, the progression mm -hmm. of it. Well, you get so with the frothiness, mm -hmm. like you, it progresses mm -hmm. going 16, 15, 14, yeah. where it's more diluted the other yeah. way. So, yeah, that last one is a uh, like the 14 a 14 just pulls it all it's, together. It's like, yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, ah, that's <laughs> crazy. The flavors Y'all, like, listeners. <laughs> I, this is the first time we've ever like been doing expands. shit. Like, <laughs> like on your tongue, like when you yeah, drink yeah, it or whatever, yeah, like yeah, it expands yeah, on yeah, the back yeah, of yeah. your palate, those bubbles and shit. Like, Can I apologize to the listeners? This is the first time we ever done some shit. I'm just like, yo, y'all are totally separated from this. <laughs> like y'all don't even yeah. fully understand. We're not even talking after yeah, this. Yeah, this is just us at this point. Like, this is just Well, I mean, up. but I think, I think that like if you're listening, if you stuck in with that, right? Yeah. Um, I think that's something you should do. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, if, I mean, you, if you have the, oh, if, if you, you have the access yeah. to it, if you have the opportunity, shit. like if you're in a in a situation or whatever, yeah. do what we did. Yeah, because yeah. that was actually I didn't know that was something people did, and it's, I did it, and I'm I'm appreciative of the experience oh, now. It's, yeah, it's I mean, crazy like, how I, and I appreciated yeah. the the, mm. the trip back yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> 
did you like genuinely <laughs> appreciate it? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, you're I mean, you're very. No, I mean that that's one of my favorite things to do if you get the opportunity. It's like especially with that or like barley wines where you can try them year to year, especially when they're this is eighteen, so we're you know, four years mm. age from the oldest one. Um, I mean, normally, from what I've seen, probably like three to six years of aging is probably like prime. And beyond that, you don't get any benefit. Sooner than that, it's too boozy. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I think this three four- was the one that I, I was hurt. I have this Black Tuesday, right? Okay. Do you? Is so that- it's called, for, it's from the brewery. And I'm, I'm okay. trying to figure this out. Yeah. So uh, B R U E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, so it's called Black Tuesday, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, somebody, I don't know, but they told me it was a what year? 2015. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that a sour? No, it's stout. 19. It is a stout. Oh, yeah. Old, oh, it's not a so stout. it is a stout. And it's stout. okay. All right. Because somebody them, was trying to convince me that it was a sour. They were most, like, yo, they're, they're known for sour. sour. Yeah, yeah. But this is a stout. They separated with True X. Is there sour? Division mm-hmm. now, so there's two different breweries now they have. Oh, yeah. They used to make sours, now they still make them, but they're with a different brewery. They separate the facility that way you're not getting an uh, infection easy. So, well, we're gonna we're gonna rap about that very much after <laughs> this because I need to I need to know when to break this shit, shit open. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna break this open like here mm-hmm. here shortly. But like, yeah, no, that's 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 crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Like I, for me, like going mm-hmm. up and then back down, mm-hmm. and like and like for this mm-hmm. beer, I enjoyed the the ride mm-hmm. back down because yeah. mm-hmm. when I was going up, mm-hmm. like I don't know, like I felt like the first one kind of like numbed my, you know what I mean, for me personally, yeah. And I have a numb palate, but like mm-hmm. going back down, I felt more of it. I felt like the. I felt the body. I could feel more yeah, of yeah. the booze in the ride up, yeah. but on the ride back down, I felt more of the texture. Well, a lot of times, like when you're when you're doing the flight, like the first one you sort of want to come back to it because like, it's like your intro, you know, to the, to the flight. So like the first one you may taste it and then it's not the best one, but you, or it might be the best one that you don't know. So you got You should always come back to the first one in a flight just to kind of come back to your bases and check yourself. But that's, what's cool coming back to this and realizing like the first one was still the best one yeah. to me yeah. by far. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't just an anomaly. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Right. Oh, this is the, well, so we gotta, <laughs> so we're gonna finish those, yeah, but yeah, we, we gotta get yeah, out of here, the, man. We're gonna do the rest of our shit off. Got, like, we, like, we got dueling coolers. Show. Yeah, y'all, we got hour, right almost an hour and a half in. I'm gonna of name, we gonna name this, drinking. we gonna name this podcast <laughs> Dueling Coolers. <laughs> and, uh, and honestly, let's do a contest. Um, if, uh, shit, what, is, what should we, what should we give away if they like the first person? Because we're not even gonna mention it. Yeah, so you, you have to listen to it. If you're listening to it right now, Pint glass. You get a yeah. free pint glass. So if you, if the first person to tag us in a post with dueling coolers, dual, dueling. It's spelled right. Coolers. <laughs> Which I couldn't do. Is that, am I saying it right? Does that <laughs> yeah. make so sense? Do Is that to, English? So dual, do they have to spell it correctly? <laughs> oh, yeah. Dual, it's the, it's the Webster dictionary. <laughs> right, but some. Dueling coolers. Everybody can't spell <laughs> Then if you didn't, then no, we're not. Because dueling, ignorance. dueling are spelled differently. No, no, D- dueling <laughs> cool, coolers. And listen, if you if you spell it wrong, then you don't get it. Like yeah, okay, I mean, well, we just gotta say my that. Interpretation <laughs> we gotta say that. Of the Webster Dictionary. No, we gotta say that. Like, my, <laughs> but dueling coolers. The yeah, first, you gotta say that shit. Though. The first person to uh, 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 tag us, whether it's Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. Uh, Twitter, if they tag us, dueling coolers, we'll get a free pint glass. There you go. Drinking partners pint glass. Yes, sir. And, yes, uh, ma'am. That, All that. I, that'll conclude <laughs> our shit, man. <laughs> yeah, that'll conclude us, but we have to have Bill tell the people where they can find them. You can find me personally at brewingupacure.org. That's our website. I will be there serving my own beer Damn, September 22nd on a Saturday. Um, try 80 plus different home brews plus collaborative beers with a lot of Pittsburgh breweries. We did a collaboration with Roundabout Brewery, a Brute IPA, collaboration with uh, Four Points Brewery down in, in Charleroi, a, uh, a Cherry Gosa, crazy good beer. Um, yeah, check it out. They let the people know where they can find us. Um, 
I took my headphones off too too early, uh, and now I'm back. Um, if you're looking for us, you can find us on epicastnetwork.com slash partnerspod. You can find us on IG, Twitter, and Facebook at partnerspod. You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Lips, and Google Play, and Spotify under Drinking Partners. Listen, we want to thank our guest, Bill Oates, for coming through. We want to thank our GDI for coming through and hitting us with <laughs> KBS. <laughs> with the KBS. strong. Um, as always, Drinking Partners is the crew, Epicast is the family, and we out of here.